Uh, we're going to do uh, one more uh, lightning talk uh, and then turn to our closer. Uh, so uh, I will ask Jacob DeWitt, uh, CEO and co-founder uh, of UPower, to say uh, a couple of remarks. Thank you. Thank you. Um, good afternoon. I'm Jacob DeWitt, the co-founder and uh, CEO of UPower Technologies. And first, thank you for the organizers for this event. It is a fantastic event. And I'm very excited about it because I've been passionate about nuclear power for as long as I can remember. I was born and raised in New Mexico, uh, one of the birthplaces of nuclear technology. So as a kid, my dad would take me to the donut shop and then to the National Nuclear Science Museum as like one of our Saturday morning adventures, <laughs> which I loved because I was fascinated by the science. The fact that we could take something so small and get so much out of it, the fact that we could go into the atom and harness its energy, amazed me. And I knew I wanted to work on that for the rest of my life, frankly. So as a young kid, I decided to learn everything I possibly could. And during that time, I started to realize about the benefits of nuclear power in addition to the cool science. The fact that we could produce almost 20% of our energy from nuclear power and about two thirds of our carbon free um, electricity from nuclear power was phenomenal to me because the other thing about growing up in New Mexico is you appreciate the beautiful ecosystems and landscapes and you want to protect those and I realized that working on nuclear power gave me a direct opportunity to do that and that's a really empowering feeling which further reinforced my passion which I carried to my undergraduate studies at the University of Florida and uh, then on to my graduate studies at MIT where I got my PhD and as a student the promise of next generation nuclear reactors really attracted me and caught my attention because of their inherent safety, ability to consume waste, and promise or potential to reduce costs. So I decided to get my hands dirty on every advanced reactor concept I could across the DOE national laboratories, in private industry, and in academia. And every concept I worked on, I frankly fell in love with. So I was always grappling with the questions of how can I get these things built faster and what can I personally do to help? And I would have those conversations with my friends at MIT and we realized there were some neat opportunities that if we started small, and I mean very small, we could go off grid to new markets and scale a nuclear reactor technology from there back. And that's kind of the birthplace of where UPower came from. So we set forth to design and develop a two megawatt reactor that operated solely on natural forces, um, was containerized and could be built and operated almost anywhere with very few moving parts. It could operate for over a decade without refueling and could run on used nuclear fuel. So we have been working as fast and as quickly as we can for the last several years, building a team. Um, we recently uh, raised a round of venture funding by a great group of investors led by Sam Altman and just completed actually some full-scale verification testing moving on to our non-nuclear proto non prototype testing um, and hopefully eventually to our prototype nuclear testing, especially with the exciting announcements today. Um, you know, as I sit back and look at this room and all the cool things going on across this country, I can't help but feel as enthusiastic as I did as a kid, which I frankly really haven't lost anyway. But when you look at all the awesome innovations and activities going on, you see all the huge potential um, to add new tools um, to our arsenal to address climate change. There's a lot of people working very hard and very diligently to bring advanced reactors and their promise and, and next generation reactors and their promise to the marketplace, not just as designs, but to the market in the very near term. And when you think about that, you realize that we are working very hard and very urgently to paint a very, very bright future. And I'm excited to be a part of that. So thank you. I'm going to, I'm going to, yeah, exactly. <laughs>